Alright guys, welcome back to the bench. Uh, today I have a multimeter that I picked up from AliExpress. I've already removed it from the packaging, but um, inside everything is still in the plastic that uh, it came in. Um, so we'll be taking a look at that and uh, seeing uh, how well it works. So this is the Aning AN8009, uh, which is a true RMS meter. Um, I think it's, yeah, it says that they're uh, 9999 counts, so um, pretty decent meter for the price. I think it's like $30. Um, it comes with these component leads that um, this has, you know, uh, the, the wire that plugs in is one component and then that has a screw so you can uh, choose probes to screw into that or uh, alligator clips um, and then there's uh, banana plugs as well. So that seems like a pretty neat system. It comes with what look like relatively decent um, leads here but I think, or probes I should say here, but the leads for that are uh, PVC I think. Um, I do have some leads that I purchased which are which have uh, well, probes which have silicon leads uh, that I may be replacing these with. Uh, and this thermocouple seems more than usually useful because uh, it has kind of that long, that long uh, metal piece there you could stick into something and a pretty decent connector. So I'll, I think this should be a pretty useful package. Anyway, so um, I'll open it up, uh, zoom the camera in a little bit, and uh, we'll look at things. All right, so let's uh, take this out of its packaging. Uh, pretty sizable screen. Let's see, what does this take? It's like a kickstand here. I don't know if you can see that. And one screw. The kickstand sort of comes with the battery door. I'm just going to remove the kickstand for now. And it takes triple A's, which I have some here. Triple A's are probably pretty convenient. Um, I don't know, I feel like it's easier to get than um, 9 volt battery and uh, there's better rechargeable options. I'm going to be trying a lithium ion AAA, um, so I guess it has a built-in voltage regulator in it, probably a buck circuit, um, and then it's a lithium ion, so it should have more charge in general. Um, but yeah, so with that pretty easy to read display, I think that's visible there, and the uh, bright light. Um, just check, make sure that's recording well. Yeah, um, and let's try the leads it comes with. This will be an abbreviated test. I'm uh, not super familiar with lots of different meters, but um, so I'll just do a quick test. But one test I see people doing all the time is, uh, oh, that's the range, sorry. Um, this is the mode selection. Button and I just switched to the um, the continuity tester. So that seems pretty decent. Not great. I'm not terribly impressed with these leads. Let's check the um, has a capacitance range, which is pretty useful. Let's check the ohms between the probes. Auto ranging takes a little while. I guess we're around an ohm or so. I don't know, I guess they're compact, but I'm not super happy with these leads, uh, with these probes. The leads are okay, but that seems like a lot of resistance to me. Um, I'm gonna swap them for these leads that I've, these probes that I've been using. So I have silicon leads and a really pointy tip. Um, 
not as compact for sure, but let's see, what am I getting? Yeah, let's say an order of magnitude or two less resistance. Um, and on the beeping, yeah, that's much better. Yeah, so it might be worth getting um, an extra pair of leads and probes um, for these. Although, I'll try the component set. Maybe they're pretty good as well. Um, it does have um, frequency and uh, duty cycle. Um, actually has that twice, both on the voltage, because um, you can measure AC volts there. So I guess they figured it might be reasonable to, me to measure hertz and duty cycle in the same spot. Um, but it's also on its own place, kind of strange. Um, it has, you know, the usual, you know, ohms and diode and continuity, or ohms, continuity, and diode. Uh, and then it also has capacitance, which is pretty useful. I'm not sure how, like, what the range of what that can measure is, but having capacitance is, is pretty useful, I think. Um, and has the usual milliamps and microamps. I guess the, the milliamps range can also measure amps. And for this one, you really are supposed to use like this other 10 amps fused uh, input, or at least that's what it says. Um, I don't know if you can see here. This says amps, milliamps, and this one here, way up in the corner there says microamps. Um, so for that one, you should be using that. But it also has this function, which I had to look up in the manual. It's called non-contact voltage. Uh, and that actually works um, internal to this. It has um, a meter. So I'm just gonna bring it over to an extension cord that I have over there and you'll hear it beep when I get close. So I'm pretty much like right on the wire like that when it was beeping. Um, that's kind of useful. I haven't seen that in meters of this size before, so that's, I don't know, that's kind of neat. And this is pretty small, so it'd be, I guess, easy to use for, you know, going and looking around, trying to find wires in the house. Um, it does have temperature measurement. Let's check that here. So that is in degrees Celsius. And... Looks like it doesn't have a decimal place. I would have liked to see that. Yeah, I can't use the range to choose a decimal place. Um, I guess it does have degrees Fahrenheit as well, so that's slightly more um, pr precise than Celsius. But yeah, I really would have liked to see a decimal place on the temperature there. Um, on the other hand, though, the probe's pretty useful. Um, like, you could use this like as a meat thermometer or um, it's just a much more useful probe, I think, than some that you'll see. See how quickly does that warm up. If I put it in my hand, oh, I'm blocking the camera. It's going up fairly quickly. But there's a good amount of thermal mass, I guess, in the probe, and it's not cooling down super fast. If I put it on this metal here. Yeah, it's not cooling down super fast. So... Like if you put this into water or something, that'd probably be, you know, pretty quick. But um, just in air, it's not super fast to respond. Um, and then for the component probes, um, comes as a set of leads, and on each side of the leads, uh, it has these screw mounts. Oh, that's. Both negative. On each side it has these screw mounts, so you have this sort of banana plug here, uh, which can plug into the, the meter itself. Um, and two sets of those, which is pretty convenient. So like a lot of power supplies will have this kind of plug on them too, so you can just plug directly into a power supply and then plug the other side, you know, screw this one in and then plug that into your meter, which could be useful. Um, you know, if you're measuring, I don't know, like uh, amps or something, 
in line. So that's pretty cool. Um, also these kind of spade terminal things, which is pretty neat. Um, I'm actually just going to use the probes here and uh, test to see, you know, how that is compared to, you know, like, ohms-wise, how much resistance there is through it. Um, so let's go to ohms. And plus and minus. Yeah, it's kind of all over the place. Yeah, if you get it in that little notch there, it's pretty good. But that's still like 0.1 instead of 0.01. Um, and like on here, it's like all the way up at an ohm. So this nickel plating is clearly not as nice. I think it's nickel plating. But it's clearly not as nice as the, you know, the finish on my other probes. So it's worth uh, bearing in mind. Um, if you get this, you probably want to update your probes for sure. Um, but you can probably get some nice component stuff to put in here that is gold plated. Um, you know, that would be better. Because it looks like it's just the finish on the end that's really letting these down. Um, and then just for fun, I'm going to try the alligator clip. I think is pretty useful. Yeah, and that's really good. It's making a good solid connection. So anyway, I think the component leads could be really useful. Although um, as probes, they're probably not that great. Um, and the built-in and the probes that came with it probably are worth replacing. Yeah, and it's also worth saying um, it's nice that it has this case with all the little pieces in here because you can probably store them in here without losing them um, you know pretty reasonably just kind of throw that in there throw that like that and uh, you know close it up so all in all I think it should be a decent little meter um, the the probes do let it down a bit um, but again I think these that I bought with the gold tips are you know these were really inexpensive um, from eBay I'll try to put a link to everything here uh, in the description. Uh, but yeah, if you're looking for a decent little meter, certainly nothing you know special, but um, pretty reasonable for the money. I think I can recommend it. Thanks for watching. Bye.